One of the things about our world that is most intriguing is that you can have something very impressive right below your feet and you may not even realize it. After all, history takes time to make, and that history can be covered up if enough time passes along. That's why archaeology is such an important field of study in our world. The catch with that is because so much time has passed, there are things that are found in the ground that don't belong, as in no one knows how the object got there, and we keep finding them. Join us as we have a look at 20 of the most mysterious recent archaeological finds and artifacts scientists still can't explain. Number 20. French Sundial in Indiana one of the reasons that these finds can sometimes be so mysterious and weird is that the location where they're found doesn't match up with the location of where the item is made. For example, in 1860, a doctor would be doing some plowing in a field in Indiana, and while plowing up that dirt, he found a pocket sundial. That wouldn't have been such an odd thing if the dial had not come from France. For the record, the pocket sundial was not a recent invention in the 1800s. They were actually been around since the 60s and were used by many different cultures as a result. Even back then, people wanted to know what time it was as soon as possible. The French were indeed one of the makers of this watch, and that leads to one of the mysteries around the watch being revealed. Because in the days of the colonies, they imported such things instead of making them themselves. But it still doesn't solve how the sundial got to a field in Indiana, or does it? Do recall that while the English had the colonies on the eastern coast of the United States, other nations had a hold on other parts of what would become the United States and Canada. The French had a very large influence in Canada and the middle section of the United States, which included Indiana. The French ceded the territory to the British in 1763 at the end of the French and Indian War, but British settlers were excluded from the area. The area would eventually be sold to the United States, which we used to great effect during the Manifest Destiny period. As a result, a French relic like a pocket sundial could have very easily easily been left there in the dirt. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at the artifacts you see. According to one story circulating online, these were found below the Vatican. You know, the home of the Pope. No one knows what the artifacts were doing down there, but they are intriguing enough to be talked about. The one on the left definitely feels like it belongs in a place like the Vatican, and the more colorful one on the right feels like something from another culture more than something that would fit in in the Catholic faith. That doesn't mean that it wasn't made for them or by someone who worked for them. There are certainly and clearly some questions here that were not going to be answered. But if you have thoughts on what they might be, be sure to let us know. As always, use the hashtag fancy topic in the comments section down below. Number 19. The Stone Spheres the next one is a classic, and people have been trying to find an answer for it for almost a century. Back in the 1930s, a company would be looking around Costa Rica for a place to settle a new plantation for their business. They went through the jungles of the nation and would soon find themselves looking at an odd stone sphere. But then they found another, and then another, and then they just kept popping up all over the place. Another oddity that was noticed by the team was the variety of them in terms of size. Some of these spheres were small and only a few inches across but then they would find one that was multiple feet in diameter and one that even weighed 16 tons. They were all similar in shape, and by that I mean that they were perfectly rounded spheres. Over the course of the next few years, it would be discovered that there were about 300 of these stones. That's a whole lot of rocks. And it would later be concluded that whoever made these did them by hand. Now, I'll pause there and ask the obvious question. Why would anyone take so much time to make 300 smooth and near-perfectly circular spheres? That's the mystery that many have been trying to figure out, because by all accounts, it just doesn't make any sense. Scientists think that it was done by ancient people who were indigenous to the valley in Costa Rica in which they were found, it does solve one mystery, but it still leaves plenty to be explained, not the least of which is why these people felt the need to make them. It also needs to be noted that these spheres weren't all in one place or arranged
arranged in a certain way, they were actually scattered all about the nation. Clearly, the people had a reason to make such a variety of stones, but it's debatable as to whether we'll ever learn their true purpose. Number 18. The Antikythera Mechanism the device that you're watching this video on is a highly complicated piece of digital machinery. It's sophisticated, and it probably took many years to come together. Computers and phones and whatnot used to be very much larger and specific in how they worked, and now they are leagues ahead of where they were before and much smaller and portable at times. But what if I told you that a computer existed in the time of the ancient Greeks over 2,000 years ago? Well, you'd probably say that would be impossible, and to an extent you would be correct. A digital computer did not exist back then, but an analog one certainly did. It would be found in 1901 and is known as the Antikythera Mechanism. The device was discovered on a shipwreck near the island that it was named after. The mechanism was capable of performing different calculations, and it could even help to track the motions of the sun, the moon, and five of the planets. It could even tell when athletic competitions like the Olympics were set to take place. Considering the time period in which it was active, it's incredible that the Greeks, or anyone else for that matter, were able to make it, and that's just one of the biggest mysteries of the device that no one knows who made it, or how they were even able to get it to work as they wanted it to. To have made this device a person or persons would have needed expert knowledge in many fields. Another curious element here is that the device is one of a kind. No other entities like it have ever been found. Many are trying to understand the mysteries of the Antikythera mechanism, and we wish them luck in their journey, because it would be really nice to get some answers that many are seeking. Number 17. Sea of Galilee Structure Back in 2013, a stone structure was discovered in the Sea of Galilee. To an extent, that would not be so odd, but when you get into the details of the thing, the truth about how strange it is begins to come out. The mysterious structure is cone-shaped, made of unhewn basalt cobbles and boulders, and weighs an estimated 60,000 tons. For context, there are modern ships in our world today that are not even that heavy, yet a stone structure was able to be built and then somehow sunk with that weight. To give you some more more perspective, the thing is 32 feet high and has a diameter of 230 feet, and Stonehenge isn't even that big. Researchers have said that the structure resembles something that was used in other cultures as burial sites and markers, but it's unclear if that was the case with this structure. Plus, why would such an entity even be that big? One of the ironies of the situation is that they found it by accident when they were doing some sonar surveys in the seas. As for how the thing got underwater, that's actually easy to explain. Based on all of the signs that they found, the structure was man-made and built upon land. Then over time, the Sea of Galilee rose and eventually consumed the structure, so at the very least we know how it got down there. But whether we'll ever figure out what it was in the first place is up for debate. The years since then have been full of more research and excavations of the site to try and unearth more details, and as a result, we might have more information now than we did before. Yet there doesn't seem to be definitive proof of what the structure was or was not. Number 16. Tomb of the Emperor when you think about the most famous tombs of the world, one of the things that is unquestionable is, will we go inside it? We went inside King Tut's tomb, and if we ever find Cleopatra's tomb, we'll definitely go in there. And yet, there is one tomb that's been discovered that remains undisturbed. That would be the tomb of China's first emperor. He's easily one of the most important figures in China's history, as he was the one who conquered the six warring states of the nation and brought them together to create China as a unified nation. His tomb was under a hill in China, and we know for a fact that it was his burial place. The people who put him there were clearly wanting to keep him safe as they put a poisonous moat around it, and furthermore, when he died, he was buried in the most opulent tomb complex ever constructed in the country, a sprawling city-sized collection of underground caverns containing everything the emperor would need for the afterlife.
In Chinese culture, it was believed that items that you were buried with were transferred over to the afterlife, and they even believed that people could cross over with you. That's why the legendary terracotta army was constructed and placed around the tomb of the emperor. They felt that this was pertinent that he had an army of protectors for when he crossed over. So why has the tomb not been opened yet? Well, it's a twofold reason. The first is that the Chinese government has the final decision on whether or not that happens, and the second reason is that many are concerned for the preservation of the tomb itself. If something goes wrong, then a precious and priceless piece of history could be destroyed and nobody wants that. We'll never know if we'll see inside the tomb, but when it's opened, it will be a monumental event. Number 15. Moai Statue People now, if you were to head to Easter Island, aka Rapa Nui, you're going to be greeted by some giant stone statues. These heads are one of the most striking visuals you'll find on the island, and they are one of the island's most major mysteries. You see, for the longest time, people didn't know why they were made, why they were made so big, or even why they were specifically put where they are. Many felt that they had a ritualistic purpose, while others thought that it could be astronomical in nature. There was no proof either way about what was or was not the reason. However, after a while, a team discovered another purpose for those statues, to be water markers. You see, there are only specific freshwater spots on the island that you can drink from, so someone realized that the stone statues represented where the fresh water was. Surely enough, if you look at where the statues are, there's a deposit of fresh water nearby. The team member said that they found it every time, and it was ridiculously predictable. While that may not be definitive proof, it's a bit hard to refute when they have so many pieces of evidence literally in the ground. Number 14. Stonehenge you probably could have easily guessed that this was going to end up on the list. Stonehenge remains one of the biggest mysteries of the world today. A giant structure in Salisbury Plain, Wiltshire, England, it's been a source of many mysterious and conspiracy theories throughout the ages. The biggest reason that it's a mystery is that no one really knows what it's there for. There's been much debate and many theories that have tried to understand it all, but with little luck. They're massive stones that are stacked or buried in a very specific way, however its purpose has never been fully clear. The most prominent theory is that the structure is used as a kind of calendar. That's why everything is so perfectly placed to line up with the sun and the stars above. Others think that it may have been ritualistic in nature. Another problem are the stones. The stones are huge, as mentioned, and they weigh many tons, yet the people of ancient times were able to drag them to the spot that they're on and somehow hoist them up to either stand up firm or be stacked on another set of rocks. One mystery was solved was the location of the rocks in terms of their origin point. However, that raised even more mysteries, as it's said to have been found over 15 miles away from the spot. Who would go so far to get stones to make a structure? Nobody knows, and that's why the mystery endures. Number 13. The Nazca Lines Continuing on with ancient structures that don't make any sense, we'll talk about the Nazca Lines. You have to go to Peru to see these, and they're best seen when you're in a plane above the ground. They're a series of geoglyphs that were made by the ancient Nazca people, and when you view them from on high, you'll see that the lines form a bunch of shapes that are quite impressive in size and detail. But that's the rub there. We can see their wonder because we have a plane. They had nothing of the sort when they were actually created. What's more, the lines that comprise these geoglyphs are perfect in their form and length. How were the ancient Nazca people able to create such things with precision, being unable to check their work without great difficulty? Well, it's a mystery that's puzzled many over the years and has found itself into many pieces of pop culture, including anime. While we don't know the answer, they've become a popular tourist attraction, and it's not hard to see why people would love to view them. Number 12. Hobbit in Asia Easily one of the biggest mysteries that scientists have been trying to solve is that of whether or not there were races of giant hobbits roaming the Earth at one point in time. You would think it would be pretty easy to confirm or deny such a thing, but you'd be wrong. There have been findings over the years that indicate that there could have been people of grand sizes or short sizes roaming around. For example, a new book released in 2022 claimed that there was an island in what is now Indonesia where a race of hobbits once resided. They 
were called that by the book due to how they were only three feet in height, well below the average height of a human in modern times. To prove this, the book cited multiple sites found on the island that contained bones many years apart, which contained the hobbit bones. If you can sense a butt coming, well, it's because you're smart. There are some who say that the claim is fake and that the bones are not what you think they are. That's why you never trust someone at their word unless they can back it up on matters like this. Number 11. The Shroud of Turin Sticking with the notion of controversial artifacts, we'll talk about the Shroud of Turin. This religious artifact is controversial for multiple reasons. The shroud is said to be the cloth that was wrapped around the face of Jesus Christ of Nazareth after he was crucified and then buried. It was even said that there's the imprint of a face on the cloth. So, you can see why so many people would be interested in such a thing if it was real. Keywords being if it was real, because there have been many claims about why it's not, or even not even close to being real. First off, the cloth just magically showed up many years after Christ was said to have been slain. The first recordings of it would be in the 1350s, which was a long period after the crucifixion. What's more, it was later tested and found to have materials within it that would not have been around in the time of Christ. The problem is that despite it being debunked by reputable sources, there are some who still believe in it and treat it as a religious artifact. Number 10. Gobleki Tepe Sometimes the big mystery is not necessarily the structure that's built, but who built it in the first place. Gobleki Tepe is famous because it's said to be the world's oldest temple, but when you dive into who might have built the structure, that's where things get complicated. Because based on the time period and the elements that were found around Gobleki Tepe, the structure was said to have been made by hunter-gatherer communities. That doesn't sound odd at first, except that during that time, these groups were incredibly small, so why would they have worked to make a city that had multiple temples like the ones that were found? Some believe that it's proof of when groups of people come together to make communities and thus form larger societies, but obviously that's a bit hard to prove, and so the mystery simply continues. Number 9. The Copper Scroll Despite what it may sound like, it was not uncommon at one time for things to be written down on metals so that they could last longer compared to paper. When the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, which were actual religious artifacts, there was one that stood out amongst them, that being the Copper Scroll. It was exactly what it sounds like, a scroll that was written on copper with various information on it. And that's where things get both mysterious and interesting, because unlike the rest of the scrolls, which were a chronicle of the Christian Bible, the Copper Scroll was a treasure your map. There were over 60 locations pointed out on the scroll that were said to have hidden treasure of some kind over time. But the problem with it is that the map is something to be desired, and thus it's impossible to know whether treasure is said to have been buried. Number 8. The Mysteries of King Tut's Tomb King Tut's tomb is easily one of the most important relics ever found in archaeological history. It was the find that helped to jumpstart the desire to learn more about Egyptian history and the history of the world. And there was that curse that led everyone to think that people were dying because they found the tomb, but I'm not going to talk about that. The fact is, despite the tomb being found and studied, there are still many facts about King Tut that we don't know, and the mysteries around his death are still debated to this day. Some of the other mysteries include who were his parents, who was the pharaoh before him, who was the one who ruled afterwards, and finally, was the tomb that Tut was buried in actually meant for him? These may seem like small questions, but they can have a big impact on the history that we know and don't know for the historical figure. Number 7. The Moa Claw one of the biggest questions that we repeatedly find ourselves questioning in our world is whether the ancient creatures of the past are still dead or somehow still roam the earth. The reason we keep having to ask these questions is that there are living fossils that exist in our world today, like with the coelacanth. But in terms of land animals, the one that many feel is alive today somehow is the moa. The reason for this is that 30 plus years ago, a group of people were traveling through Mount Owen in New Zealand when they came across a claw to an animal that they didn't recognize. That claw was later determined to be from a moa, a giant nine foot tall bird that used to wander around what is now New Zealand. It's believed to have been hunted down by the Maori people, and yet a claw of one would be found and was not fossilized. Number 6. The Voynich Manuscript 
We'll transition from a curious mystery to one that's indecipherable. The Voynich Manuscript is a mystery because no one really knows what it was, what it all means, or who even made it. Think about it like this. The Voynich Manuscript is a codex, meaning that it was written and, in this case, illustrated by someone who was trying to convey something. Typically, codex like these have a key that can help them be deciphered and thus explained, but not with this one. As a result, people have spent years trying to figure out what it all means, and we're no closer to figuring out now than we were then. It doesn't help that the illustrations are, uh, very odd, to put it a nice way. It might be better if we just don't figure this one out at all. Number 5. The Mystery of Zhang Xingdu an established part of history that we can all understand is that civilizations rise and fall, and as a result, there are parts of them that get lost to time. For China, one of their biggest lost civilizations was that of Zhang Zidu. This was one of the civilizations that rose up well before China became unified, and it was very prosperous as a place to live. Yet, it vanished off the map without any kind of warning. The common belief is that there was an earthquake that caused the people to move to another place, which led to the civilization decaying. Obviously, we cannot know that for sure, but we do know that it existed thanks to the artifacts that have been found. Number 4. Noah's Ark in the Christian faith, Noah was a man who was chosen by God to create an ark that would carry a few humans and two of each creature. The ark would withstand a flood that would reshape the world and purge it from the sin that had consumed it. After the event, a dove was presented to Noah as a symbol that God would never do such a thing again. The ark in question would have had to have been massive to hold all of those animals, so the mystery is, what happened to it? Based on legends and where things were said to have reset, people have a general idea of where to look, but no true trace of the ark has ever been found. Still though, some say that it's unlikely to be found given that the years have passed, and yet people still search for it even to this day. Number 3. The Maya if there was a civilization that has left the biggest question mark on history, it would arguably be the Maya, because at one point in time, they were the biggest civilization on the planet and had made their mark in Central America and beyond, and we're still finding relics from them today. They're a highly advanced civilization that had art, science, calendars, a deep religious structure, and massive cities. The mystery that surrounds them has to do with how they just disappeared. The civilization went from being on top of the world to being wiped off the map. People were gone, and yet buildings and artifacts remained. To this day, people still don't know where they went, and we likely may never find out the full truth. Number 2. The Khat Shabib Wall Look around any ancient civilization enough and you're going to find ones that love walls. They love to make walls and weren't afraid to use them as big or as long as possible. In the nation of Jordan, one wall in particular has gotten many people's eyes. That would be the Khat Shabib. It's a wall that you can very easily see from the sky and it goes 150 kilometers. What's more, it's also a short wall, so it's not one that you would use to defend yourself from an invader. However, there's a belief that the wall could have well been used to make a boundary between farmers and their lands. And what's more, it could have been used to ward off animals that may have roamed in or to stop nomads from breaching certain areas. Number 1. Giant Circles now, as we've shown you throughout the video, there are plenty of things that you can find when you're in the sky looking down. Archaeologists in Jordan have taken high-resolution aerial images of 11 ancient big circles, and all but one of them are 1,312 feet in diameter. These circles are also really close to each other, so it would be really odd of a coincidence if they were all just randomly placed there. As for when they were made, it's believed to have been over 2,000 years ago, but the purpose of them remains unclear. They were very large though, and were so perfectly constructed that it wouldn't make much sense for them to be randomly created. So why did the people of Jordan need such big circles to be made? You tell me! That's all from the realm of archaeological digs and the odd things that they found. Were you amazed by some of the things that were uncovered by teams and random people? And which of them did you find most puzzling? Are there any others that should have shown up on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.